Hey everybody, welcome back to Tormented Souls. So, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot. Uh, so Raz, my partner, watched my videos and he was telling me how he understands because I never played games like Resident Evil or Silent Hill, so I don't really know the mechanics of it. Um, where a huge thing of killing the monsters in those games was you would shoot them to get them to lay down and then you would melee them. And I was like, I don't have a melee option. He's like, you have a crowbar. And I was like, no, I used my crowbar on the door. I have a crowbar. <laughs> I have a melee ob item this entire time. This entire time. I've been so concerned about running out of nails. And while I was looking at that, I also have a part of a shotgun that I haven't completed. And I have the, the shotgun shells. And I will be honest, I looked it up. It's in this area that I need to get it. I just haven't fully explored this area yet. Because I went down um, this hallway and I killed that guy. So I checked out... Got this one? Dressing room? I can, oh god. Uh, did I not? Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> okay, never mind. Let's leave, 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 leave. So I'm guessing I need to restore some power before I can go in there. Um, I did go into the decontamination room. I don't think I went into the anesthesia room, though. So it said, did I come in here? I did come in here. Um, it did. Yeah, I went through this way. Uh, it did say it's in here somewhere. I just don't know which room it is. Um, so I can't go into what was that room? Um. The dressing room. Okay, so I can't go into the dressing room until I restore power here. Uh, okay, that's the operating room where we have to go in. Where we need to do something. I don't know exactly what, though. Observation room. Oh, God. What is that? Uh, no, uh... No, let's equip the nail den first. What is this? A pipe with a hand, it smells like sulfur. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Can you not? Can you not, sir? What is that? What is that? What is that? Dude, oh. Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? You really need to be so specific. <laughs> what are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. Ah! You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? My child, this place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. Does he not see the corpses? I don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination. That's very loud, by the way. Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. Mm -hmm. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. And then they would sacrifice twins. The shaman of the tribe. Sh shaman. Those with special blood danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sounds terrifying. Ah, okay. I'm turned down the sound sound volume down, please. Is it gonna turn down their voice? Hundreds of years. Oh, it does turn down their voice too. That, that sucks. <laughs> SV voices are not SVX, okay? 
They're not the same thing. Alright. Turn that back up. Um. Mmm. I'm mean, a radioactive suit is walking around a body in circles. Guessing that's the body that we need. Also, okay, I'm fucking leaving this room. Wait, no, is there anything over here that I need? <gasps> yes! Nails, thank you. And another espresso maker! So much espresso! Espresso. Alright, um. So. Combines? Shotgun made from modified items. Hell yeah! Okay. So we finally have... Is it reloaded? Is it only one blast? Oh god, I just sneezed. Ow. Okay, um... So, we got a first aid kit. We got three morphine things we got 28 nails uh 12 shotgun now we have a shotgun now we have a melee option um i'm gonna change the clothes just for the hell of it and then yeah okay we got we got a lot of items we're doing good we're doing good um but we need to go into the operating room and we have the dude on the, the table. I thought he was going to come to life, but I guess we're fighting the other thing. Um, Because we have this guy on the table. So I don't know. Yeah, wasn't there a light switch? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't, I was like, wait, wasn't it dark in here? Um, I go over here first that have any to do with anything? No? This is the blood of the Chosen Twins. Squish, 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 squish. Uh, okay, it didn't do anything. Hmm. I thought there would be like some secret text that popped up or something. Why do we have the option of turning off the lights? There's nothing over here that we can get either. I'm like spamming the select button. Huh. Is there anything that I'm missing down here? Is this guy? Wait, where's even the door to the room that we need to go into? That's something I realize. Wait, that doesn't make sense. How do you get into the observation room, then? There's no door. Is it... Is it this room right here? That's the anesthesia room that we went through. Oh! No, that's a window. Oh, okay. I'm confused now. Is, is there a door to get into the operating room? How do I get in there? Okay. Oh, there's no secret door here or anything. The ship. That sounds... Of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. That's turning off the light in the operation room. The shaman of the tribe danced around their dead, 
willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sound. So if I turn off the light, will the dude come to life? Is that what it's saying? Because I need the light off. That's that's some factor. Right. Do I need a walker on the table? Dancer on the dead. One. Two. Three. Four. No. I go the other way. <laughs> oh! Oh god! Oh! Are you shitting me? Oh, I hate that! Oh, I hate that! Why wasn't he tied it down? Oh my god! I literally, my stomach just dropped. Oh, okay. Cool! Alright, uh, and then... Uh, equipped. Oh god, oh god. Ah, fuck! Oh god, that really hurt, that really hurt, that really hurt, that really hurt. Okay, uh, heal. Um, go back to the shotgun. Oh god. Uh, reload. How do I reload? How, how do I reload this? Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, uh, how do I reload again? No, I don't want to look at the padlock. I just want to reload. Oh god. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh god. Ah, Oh. Okay. Uh, reload. Oh. 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 oh okay. <laughs> oh, that's the why I didn't mean to do that. Oh. That. It. That was such a good puzzle. Oh my god! That was such a good puzzle! I hated it, but that was really good! <laughs> that, so what I mean by it when I mention that this reminds me of, um... Oh, it reminds me of... Like, the DS days, is that when the Nintendo DS came out, there were puzzles and games that use the ability of the touch screen and everything that you just didn't think about back in the day. Um, I don't know. Did that did anything or something over here? Um, so like there was this one game where I remember getting stuck on it as a kid. Um, I remember getting stuck in on it as a kid and you needed the butterfly from the top screen to be on the bottom screen and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And I was like 10 or something at the time. And so I closed my DS and I set it to a side and I was like, I need to walk away from this. And I opened my DS again and it had been solved. And I was like, what, what happened? And it needed the top to stamp down on the bottom. And you did that by closing the DS. And that just blew my mind as a kid because that was just, you didn't have that in video games. Oh, the body's gone? Walking around the circles in the body. Am I the- was I supposed to be represented in the radioactive suit? Okay, so I have a scalpel now. What am I supposed to do with the scalpel? I don't know. But the puzzles like that were just absolutely fascinating to me. Um, we still can't go into... The... Dressing room, right? Unless there's a... Uh, is the red lights in here now? Oh! What? What? Since when? Since when can they do that? What the fuck? What? Okay, let's heal. 
Alright, that's not great. I literally just walked in to get stabbed. I don't know when we're supposed to go into the dressing room. I can't do anything in there because I can't... Um... Did I save? I didn't do too much. I don't wanna... I only have one... Yeah. I don't wanna save just yet. Okay. Um... What do we need a scalpel for? It's been a hot minute since I've recorded this again. Know, the Wii was like that too when it just it started using mechanics that um uh for like the motion control and everything that was just kind of mind boggling. I don't know how do they how they uh program that about me walking around the table. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. All right, now I gotta figure out what I need the scalpel for. What is this door? We've been in that area. Oh, it's the second floor. Oh, it's the dressing room. Hmm. Well, I can't go into the dressing room anyway, so there's not a whole lot of point. I don't have any recording, right? Uh, let's examine the scalpel just in case. An old scalpel, it's very sharp. Chill. So we have a scalpel. We have a bottle of nitric acid, which can melt stuff. We have a stethoscope. Um, loaded up on everything. I can't believe this fucking crowbar. I was... <laughs> I was talking to Raz, and he's like... He was watching the first episode, and he's like, did you... Did you ever figure out how to kill the monsters? And I was like, yeah, I realized that I just need to keep shooting them. And he's like, hmm, so, uh, <laughs> you're supposed to melee them. And I'm like, I don't have a melee object. We also still need to find the battery. Um, there's, there's something, where was it? Where was the? There's a door somewhere that I have, um, I can recharge a battery for to get into the library lift. I haven't found a battery yet, and I don't know where that would be. Oh! Can I use the knife on this? Ha! Who do I get? I get to keep the scalpel. Hell yeah! All right, let's go into the creepy dark hole. Is there gonna be another mirror down here? I feel like oh, what's the boiler room? I feel like every time we go down a hatch, granted, there's only been one mirror that goes into this. Oh, I hear it. Hear it. Oh God. Uh, pick this up. Shotgun shell. Sweet. Where are you? Hello? Dead. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, 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 uh... Put this. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Shit! I didn't know which one it was! Stop it! Alright. Oh god, we are really hurting. Okay, heal. Get the crowbar. Oh god, are you shitting me? <sighs> Maybe the Cobra isn't the best option. Mm. I used all of my freaking... <sighs> all of my, uh... Healing items. That's not, that's not great. Someone was living here? 
What what makes you think that? It's because there's a TV down here? Ugh. What's this? Fridge doesn't seem to be operational. Oh, that, that actually makes sense. Um. Ooh, can we find a battery down here? Anything useful in here? There's going up there. There another lighting thing here. Oh wow. Someone was legit living down here. They have everything. What the hell? <gasps> First aid? First aid kit! Treats major injuries. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I think I want ca caution. So if I get into danger, I can use one of the... Um, does he have a battery down here or not? There's nothing on the breaker or the stove thing. The washing machine. Doesn't look like there's anything else that I can get here. Nothing on his bed. Got a Bunsen burner. Nothing useful here. Okay. So let's head over and up here. Where does this go to? Nothing over there. Something I can twist? No. Mm, I don't, oh. Pff. What? What? What is it? Why is the music going all... What? I can't get over there. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking, fucking God! Oh, God! Oh, 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 stop it, 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 stop All right. Come on. Back oh, okay. All right. We're fine. We did it. We're doing okay. <laughs> so they have a, a. Oh, that's a lot of bodies. Oh, lots of bodies. They have a lot longer uh, downtime, so I can smack them with the um, the gun, the crowbar. But uh, the short crawly ones, they get up a lot faster. Oh my god. Oh, bodies. Lots of bodies. Let's get that lighter back out. Anything over here? My heart hurts. My heart hurts. Uh, William Wildberger's diary. Okay. Maria has lost another child. Oh, this is a year later? I had two miscarriages? Oh, third! Jesus Christ. But I do, uh, I do not know how I find the strength not to falter, but I must be strong for both of us. Maria's condition worsens by the day. Her body may be damaged but it is her mind that worries me most. She says not a word and her eyes have stopped reacting when exposed to light. She is no longer recognizes me and startles when I try to draw closer. Oftentimes she is so disoriented that she screams and breaks everything in her path. I can, can't, I can stop her only with an injection. Know that Maria, my Maria, is somewhere inside that damaged body. January 4th uh, of 1970. She worsens. Today I witnessed an awful sight as I entered her room. She stood in a pool of blood, lashing her own back with a whip. I grabbed her by the wrists, but she fought back while screaming at the top of her lungs. I called in a paramedic to help me sedate her and put stitches across her entire back. How could she do this to herself? What goes on inside her head? At least tonight she will sleep soundly. My god, what have I done? Maria, will you ever forgive me? What happened on January 5th? This is in the span of a week, sir. What happened? Um, hospital, Woodenberger just looks like her entry. So, 
Are these in order of date? No, this is nice. Uh, 1941. This is when he was a kid. And then the entry with the, uh, January. Um, but I couldn't be leave anymore all the time. In my There's no date on this one. So talks about him being a kid and then um, him, his wife having the miscarriages. Then the twins get born. And then this one is in the 1980. Um, so we're missing one right here, the number four. And look at the full picture of his diary entry. Basement S. Burr, 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 burr. Hello? I don't like it. Oh, there's a lot of bodies. Hello? What's that rattling noise? I don't see any candles. There's gonna be bad guys in here. I don't see any candles. Over here. Oh, hello? Hello? Do me my son! Oh, more nails. I'm gonna have to just run. Because there's no source of light or anything. Oh, this. A small metal desk, there are symbols around the edges. Interesting. Did the rattling stop? Severed hand in the toilet bowl. <laughs> Why? So it does sound like the rattling. Why did the rattling stop? <gasps> ah! <laughs> that was a cheap shot! Oh my god! Body was hidden inside. Well, it has both of its hands. Oh, my heart rate is through the roof. I was literally thinking, oh, I should check inside this for any items. Oh, fucking end me. Oh, God. Okay, where where do I need to go? Oh, I hate it so much here. Got an item here. I'm not finding any breakers or anything. This. Um. <gasps> Can you not? Can you not? That is not necessary. It is absolutely not necessary. This this isn't a breaker, right? Where, where is the light? Did I literally just come down here for this piece? Okay, I can't go in there. Oh, my heart. All right, well, let's try figuring out where I need to go next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate every single last one of you. Good night, Gremlin Gamer, sweet dreams. I'll see you next time. Fucking hell. <laughs>